A oh, bit of entertainment, just lowering an engine back in. Uh, you can do the supervising over this side uh, for before diesel people. Let's pull the engine forward a little bit more again, just because we've got this plug in just a little bit for now. That's it, beautiful, thanks mate. Oh, I'm not going to touch anything, I'm just going to yell out if something at this side's hitting. Mm. That wiring loom there, can we get that out of the way though? It's kind of just sitting, it's all yeah, right. That's the earth cable. Yeah, you know. So can we... at the well, I'm not meant to be touching way. anything, you know. Yeah. yeah, we'll just hook it out of the way. At the right time, way. okay, all right. We'll leave it for now, just keep it on, okay. Mm -hmm. All good at this side, slowly. Good, just, just that plug here I'm watching, but it's all right for now. Yep. It's just touching, there's no pressure. Slowly, slowly. And then okay. come down. I'm about so 50 mil away from hitting the uh, power steering half line down here. So come down a little bit more and we might have to go forward a little bit. This side's all looking good. Yeah. Just touching that plug there, no damage at all. Yeah. So stop there. Now just go forward by about 50 mil. No, 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 not backwards. Forward. Um, hang on, hang on. You need to work out what backwards and forwards is. That way's forwards, that way's backwards. He was <laughs> doing the right thing, mate. Boy, I'm gonna put the camera on you, mate, and identify <laughs> yeah. him backwards because, and forwards here, mate. Because yeah. before I was He's backwards and forwards. This, this is forwards. <laughs> you know, anyway, it's all part of the fun, you know, a bit of entertainment, that that's it. Okay, <laughs> okay which way are we going? To be clear, all right, which way is forward? Well, yeah, you better work this out because it depends whether you're talking about the crane going forwards. One at a time, one at a time. Depends whether you're talking about the crane going forwards or the engine going forwards. I would call it engine going forwards is engine going forwards that way, engine going backwards. Push that way. Okay. Right, so push go backwards that. means push it. That way go forwards, backwards, push it. Forward. Okay. okay. All so clear. All, all three go back, cool. backwards. <laughs> backwards. Uh, well, hang on. Careful this plug though because you can't yeah. go backwards because like it needs to go down more first. Because I need to clear this power steering line down here. We don't want to crush anything. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, alright. Now. We can go down slowly, slowly. I can feel it touching the sun, touching the cross, uh, the front axle. That'll be fine there, that plug, no problem anyway. Yeah. It's going to get better as it goes down anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm swing this up a little bit, the jiggling and wiggling. Right, slowly, slowly. <coughs> Yeah, always good to keep it moving slowly. Yeah, yeah. get ready yeah. to stop it from going down there. Now it's a good time for me to slip in the engine man on this side. Okay, you got yeah. that engine, and you know you got the. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. So you just got to slip that engine man at that side in. Beautiful. Okay. Are you just sitting it in place or bolting it up at the moment? Sitting in place. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put the two bolts on to it, but still loose. <coughs> For anybody that finds it interesting to watch an engine being reinstalled, usually the best way to do it is to have three people. One controlling the crane and one each side guiding the engine in to make sure it's not getting caught up on anything. That's both going in and out. Yeah, you can do it with less people. You can do it on your own if you like. You can do it with two if you like, but three is what I said is ideal. Any more than three, yeah, you know about that. You know the two's company, three is a crowd, not putting an engine in. Three's company. Fours, what is what wrong with four? Fours, yeah, anyway, whatever. Three is, three is the magic number, I think. That way, you can have one person like what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm trying not to touch anything or tell anyone how to do anything, but you know, because everybody's got their own ways, unless there's a good way to improve things. Um, these guys do an awesome job, they love removing and reinstalling engines. So, keep putting the chips and the tunes if you. <laughs> Happy to uh, spend the money and do your engine. So what we're going to do on this side, we're going to go forward a little bit and then down. And that way there I can get the engine mount to sit in its spot correctly. And yeah, hopefully we'll go in. So you're going down a little bit more, are you? Yeah, and then forward a little bit, please. Forward? Down. 
Down or forward? Forward. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Backwards. Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so what now? Backwards. I'm going to have to push. This side looks good. This side, all I'm saying is you need to go down. Yep. Down, down's going to work everything well at this side because you're still it. about four inches above where it's going to sit. Yep. Down on this side too. Just making sure the out sits in slowly, there. Slowly, slowly. Still rocking and rolling. Oh, slow it down a bit. Sorry. Nice and slow. Let me just yeah. check from underneath. That wiring loom, yeah, the wiring loom's clear, that's good. It's probably going to need a bit of angle, a bit of a wiggle. Overall, it does need to go down still. Yeah, it goes down. I can curl this side, going down. This can be a bit of a fiddle sometimes, people watching, but. Um, Alright, stay right there, please. It can be a bit of a fiddle getting, uh, you got to get the engine mount sitting on, the torque converter sitting in and all the right angles, everything at the right time for this to, uh, sometimes it can go in really smoothly and it's awesome when it does and sometimes yeah, it's anything from straight in to 5, 10, 15 minutes mucking around really. You know, if you do them all day, every day, it's probably straight in every time because you get better systems. Alright, so my engine mounts is here, but I might have to go up and jiggle and lift up the front a little bit so that the bolt will go into the relocation. Want me to lift it up lightly and you'll go over. Hang on, don't move anything yet, let me see the clock. Don't move anything, he said, don't move anything. I don't know if this is exciting for uh, people watching or getting a bit boring, but you know, it's not every day you get to be live watching a 1K engine get refitted. and the sorts of things that you need to disconnect to lift the engine out, I suppose. So, a bit of, uh, it's always pays to get everything off the front nice and clear here, because it does need to come forward to come out. Find a hole, find a hole. Can be easy to remove the engine mount on the driver's side. You don't have to do it that way. So that's what's happened with this one. Um, trying different things and it's just getting fitted back into place around that side can't quite reach around there from my side you know on the next video maybe i'll be on the other side eh? distance supervisor slash cameraman cameramen aren't meant to talk usually are they down here to clear the engine mount and line it up still um, got to go down about 10 mil yeah I'd um, say at least to get yeah. the drive plate in the bell housing yeah and uh, so going backwards that way yeah 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 backwards that's definitely <laughs> backwards we work that part out the back of the engine going backwards yeah backwards but it, no you can't go backwards too far till you go down a bit more from looking yeah. at it from my side because the drive plate is about to hit the bell housing yeah so it's not going to go in there but so if you can drop it a little bit more are you okay to drop your side a little bit or not my side the uh the mounts the bracket for the mounts on the block is sitting on top of the big bolts now for the engine mounts yeah right yeah so well, this side's got to go further back then so yeah but yeah. to go back it's got to go down i think this side because of the way the crane's holding the chain this yeah. side must be higher than your side yeah 
Right. Yep. Is so what I think. Push. That's what I said actually when it went up on the crane. It looked a little bit on an angle. Yeah. So I'll keep this that way. So if you want to go down a little bit. Yeah, down. I'd say go down. down. Hopefully it will. Yeah, a little over. bit. Like about 10 mil. If you go down, and then it'll fit inside, and you'll be able to go for push backwards even more. A lot more push back. Mm. And maybe it's got to go. Maybe it's got to go that way a little bit as well. So you can go down a bit more from this side. Yeah. It's starting to look like it's getting near. Um, I'm um, gonna. I'll yell out when to stop going down if this mount's going to get mm. about there. I reckon. Yeah, should be able to push it back now. I'm thinking. Yeah, thinking the same as well. So yeah. let's give it a bit of a shove. Yeah, it's moving backwards now. You push the whole crane, that's it. It's moving in now. You know, can't go any lower yet because this engine mount bolt, it's right. Actually, it might just need a rock. Oh, as... no. My, my one's um, out of position. It's hitting the engine mount bolts now. Yeah, mine's just touching. It needs to go up about th yep. two, three mil. Is that what yours is as well or not? No, mine's you gone exactly. completely out. Alright, uh, go backwards. Oh, sorry, go that way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> that Forward. way now. You want to go backwards? Go that way, whatever. That way. Alright, ready? How much? Enough? Yeah, but this, this side needs to go up to get it over the mount, okay? Over the mount. Yeah, so it's gone a little bit low at this side, so whether you want to push down on that side of the engine... Can I have if, a look, sir? Sure can, mate. I've got mine in place. One, one set of eyes and brain having a look. Alright, so this is how I did the other side. Now when, when I tilt it the upwards here, you've got to make sure that side doesn't kick this way, okay? Otherwise we'll come off the... Do you want me to swap sides? I'll go around there and keep that side in or should be right? If you could, please. <clears throat> he, he's up there now. Long. So as soon as that's over the engine mount and in the hole, then uh, I'm up now. So you push back. Push back. Yeah. Need the whole crane to go back, really, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, the whole crane. All right. Are you ready? All right. Let me. Hang on. He needs to reposition. Do you want me to get out of your way? No, this one. He's got the. No, I can't get it to this side because we've got a few uh, black lines there. All right, push it back, yeah. Yeah, yeah see. no, see. Has, has it cleared the bolt yet? No, it hasn't, has it? No. See the, the top? The EGR valve's getting around the wiring loom at the top too, so the top's not going to go in more until it goes down. So this is a bit of R and D. Normally the EGR, well, normally the EGR elbow is uh, still off. Yeah, you can do this, but trying different systems. So if I go like that, anyway, the bolt, and then you can push backwards. I reckon backwards. you've seen enough. It's time to uh, get this engine in. So thanks for watching. Bit of butter bing, butter boom. Hopefully you found it entertaining. You might not have learned much, but give us a thumbs up and we'll try and show you a bit more on the next one. Okay, so with a bit of magic, about a minute after I stopped the video, uh, one side engine mount was on, then like magic this side, you know, all in position and the bell housing dowels etc down in here uh, slipped in position and then what did you do then mate you put you're putting the bolts in the bell housing now that's it and what yeah. i'd recommend people do if you're doing this yourself and this isn't a how to change an engine it's just something for you to look at guys in case you know you've got nothing better to do you want to see a 1kz being refitted back into a proto that's cracked a piston it did have a remap 1kz uh, and stuff yeah, um, you know, just a little bit of information for you. So, 
what I would advise is once you've got the bolts in the barrel housing and they should go in easily with no resistance is to then check that the torque converter is spinning freely because it has been the case where people have made the mistake in the past of putting the engine and the transmission together and bolting it up and uh, creating a bit of pressure on the torque converter because it's not sitting in the correct position. It wasn't perhaps pushed in properly. You've got to make sure the torque converter is pushed in correctly in position and people have damaged transmissions from that. So I'm not sure the full story. I'd have to talk to him actually. I forgot, I did see him. I forgot to ask him about that. I know someone had happened to, but uh, I'm not sure of the full story. So don't read too much into it at the moment because I don't know what I'm talking about. But look, this engine, it's sitting on the mount. Spell housing's in. Bolts are going in the bell housing. Is that right, boys? Correct. That's, yes. And uh, is that what you do? Do you check the, um, the torque converters sort of spinning freely before you bolt it up? Yeah. Yep. And then line it up, put the bolts into that. Just doing that by hand, thing free. Your video is getting, uh, your, your hand's getting recorded trying to get the bolt in the hole. There you go, he's got it in the hole, getting it started. Small Look at hands, that, beautiful. Hands. Small hand. And mate, this thing is in. Bolt everything back up to it and she'll be running by the end of the day. <laughs> I was expecting a bit of reaction there, but you know, it just went quiet. <laughs> Anyway, that's a butter boom, butter bing. This one's back in. If you uh, crack a piston and you need some assistance, feel free to contact me via text message with your name. Vehicle details, your location, your suburb, where you're at, and what you would like, what are you after, and I'll uh, endeavor to assist. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got something out of that, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe, turn the bell on. We've got a lot more informative videos than this. Like I said, it was just something for you to have a look at and you can see what goes on removing and refitting engines.